In addition to being a great tool for collecting student papers, the Turnitin Dropbox is an excellent way for instructors to collect and evaluate other kinds of student work, like visual art work. I'm going to show you how to create a Turnitin Dropbox and how to submit a non-paper file to that Dropbox. You'll open your course and click the button to turn editing on. From there, you'll find the block that you want to add the assignment to and click Add an Activity or Resource. You'll scroll down and choose Turn it in Assignment 2 and then click the Add button. Here we'll set up some of the parameters for the assignment. First, you want to give the assignment a name. Notice anything that has a red asterisk in Moodle, you have to fill out. So some of these things we can leave blank. Under Submission Type, you want to make sure that File Upload is selected. That way, students can upload a file, such as a picture, a JPEG, or a ping, for you to look at. If you set it to text only, then students won't be able to upload non-text files. I'm going to leave all of this information just as it is. It says, allow submission of any file type. I'm putting yes here to give the most flexibility for the types of files that students can upload. And then I'm going to continue down. And here is where I have to set up the due dates for the assignment. The start date and time is always the time that you're creating the Dropbox. You can change the due date here either by clicking on the different drop-down menus or you can click the calendar and browse that way. The time you also can set up. It is military time. So if I wanted this to be due at 11.59 p.m. just before midnight, I can, I can set it that way. The post date is the date students expect their grades posted back. And I, to get around this, because I don't like to make that exact commitment, I just click on the menu, the mark, that where it says the month. And then I choose, you know, July or something where I know that I'll, I'll beat that date back. And then I'm going to scroll down and hit save and return to course. And now the assignment appears on the course. So I'm going to pause now and shift into the student view and show you how a student uploads the file into this Dropbox. So you'll notice that I have switched to student view. This is what the students see and I'm going to click on this assignment. And this is where students, they get a list of anything that they've uploaded. And it's this little tiny cloud. I don't know why it's just this tiny cloud. You're going to click on that Submit Paper, even though they aren't actually submitting a paper. They're going to give their submission a title. So it could be My Painting, could be Painting One. It doesn't really matter what they want to call it. They have to submit, they have to, excuse me, click this TBD box. That gives, it, they're consenting then for anything submitted to turn it in to be checked for plagiarism. In this case, these doc, these photos can't be checked for plagiarism, but we're going to um, click the box acknowledging that. Then I'm going to open the folder where the uh, image is stored. It's on my desktop, and I'm going to click and drag it. So this is the photo that a student has taken of his or her work. And in this case, it's a JPEG. And all they have to do is to drag and drop it to get it into the submission box. Then they click the Add Submission button. 
And after that, they get a digital receipt that tells them that their submission has been successfully uploaded. In the next tutorial, I'll show you how you'll view your students' submissions in Turnitin and a couple of strategies for offering them feedback.